The year is 1972. You're in a strange room, surrounded by scientists, and you're four years old. You're at Stanford University, and this is the marshmallow experiment. You are likely familiar with this experiment. It's one of the most frequently cited experiments in psychology. A researcher comes and places a marshmallow in front of a child between six months and four years old. They tell that child that if they can wait 15 minutes, they can get a second marshmallow, and then the researcher leaves the room. Most of these children would go on and eat the marshmallow, about two-thirds. That remaining one-third, though, wouldn't eat the marshmallow. They would wait and they would get the second one. This is showing delayed gratification. And that one-third is an interesting bit. They would go on to outperform that remaining two-thirds in every life category measured. Things like successful relationship, income, level of education, and body mass index. It would be found in 2011 that the one-third who could delay gratification had more activity in their prefrontal cortex known as the most human part of the brain, it's responsible for executive function or your decision-making skills. This test is often cited in the argument that willpower overcomes anything, and we would all really like to believe that idea. I too would like to believe that. However, that's not what this test is showing us. Like all good studies, this study was replicated, and when it was replicated, it was done with a sample size 10 times larger than the original. And this time they controlled for economic background. In the original experiment, the one that I've been telling you about, all the children from the original study came from Stanford Nursery. Those children were better off than the average American, who was better off than the average person. In the larger study, it was found that only about half of the original results actually carried over. The other half was thought to have been caused by economic disparities. When I was told the story in a college psychology class, I was not told the entire story. It was taught to me like delayed gratification was the only thing that was necessary to be successful, and I went along with that idea and so did 30 other children that day. I think for a lot of people, me included, this study represents a world that we would all like to live in. It was a story written in a way that we would all want to believe it. The idea that we are the captains of our own ships is appealing, and to some degree we are, but there is also an ocean beneath us, and to some degree, we are at its mercy. To paraphrase John Green, King George II didn't become King George II because he worked hard or because he was persistent, or because he had grit, or because he delayed gratification. He became King George II because his father was King George I. And thank you for watching. So this video was different from my regular videos. It was just a straight explanation of a misconception, which I really enjoy doing. This will not replace my regular videos though, those will still come out just as frequently. The next one is on conspiracy theories and will be out later this week. Until then, like and subscribe and hit the bell if you don't want to miss it. And thank you for watching.